is tall. <laughs> Funny. And sometimes annoying. <laughs> Neil as a child was a competitive. We used to play board games and his mum used to say to him, now it doesn't matter who's winning, we've got to stop at 11 o'clock and go to bed because Neil, he liked to always finish on top. He's probably most famous for outrageous packages arriving from around the world. Uh, about four or five years ago, and you may see this because it's in the house, is uh, a huge stife bear arrived. In the job that I have where it's just full of rushing around, seeing lots of people, this is a place where very, very few people come. Oh, if I had to describe what he does for a living, I suppose I think of him as um, somebody who creates models. Uh stuff working about he works financial he works on projects and, and stuff Oliver Wyman. <laughs> uh he works on what's he work on i have no idea what he works on <laughs> i just know he's involved in financial services but the actual day-to-day -day activities i'm not really very sure about that he's funny you know, he was, he, there are certain things that I do as a dad. I can see he used to do to me. You know, the, uh, he always used to ask me if he could try one of my crisps, if I was eating a crisp, just to see what it tasted like. And as I would tell him as I was eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 years old, that he'd had these crisps many times before. <laughs> you know, he, this was a bit of a running joke with my dad. And he would, he would do a lot of these types of things. And I guess I do a few of them with my kids too. <laughs> If you had a magic wand and you could change one thing about your dad, what would it be? His jokes. Yeah, yeah so... Um, I would make him, yeah, better jokes. <laughs> They're absolutely terrible. Yeah. <laughs> what do you like most about your dad? See if you could give me one each. His love of sports. His beard. Um... That his hair is not all grey. <laughs> <laughs>